Hello, just wanted to give you a quick uh, video review of our new automatic valve. It's a Z-Wave device. And the idea is you can use it for your uh, water shutoff. Uh, you could, when paired with a controller, and maybe you could add a, um, a water sensor for automatic shutoff, or you can just use your phone to uh, shut it off at, uh, as you need. Or you could set up a schedule for shutting off the water, uh, you know, for vacations and so on. Anyway, here's the uh, device. It's a Z-Wave device. And it requires a 12 volt um, DC 1 amp power. It comes with an adapter, but uh, in many applications you could have your own uh, 12 volt source. And I'll just plug it in here so you can see it working. So we'll push the power, you can watch the lever. And I'll just do it again, so you can see it from this side. This is the clutch, so you could do a manual release or uh, adjustment. All right, so now I'm just going to, uh, and the idea is you mount the uh, clamp on here, you connect this to here, and I'm just going to fast forward to that. Uh, and just, you just have to make sure that you line it up, and then this goes in between here, and that you line this up uh, center to center, these two center points. And I'm just going to fast forward to that. And pop. Okay, I've assembled the uh, bracket and it holds the controller on top of the standard uh, levered ball valve. So this device is meant for uh, systems that, uh, you know, for where you already have this type of levered valve on your shutoff. If you don't, you need to get a plumber and add the lever type or it won't work with this. It's designed for the lever. It picks it up but on these two screws and just pushes the lever. So I'll just, uh, once it's assembled here, it's easy to uh, get going from there. And this is just one uh, we picked up to demonstrate it, but there's various types of these and it takes uh, uh, three different sizes. This is the half inch, it takes three quarter and one inch and up to 1.5 inch of these uh, should assemble on these devices. And let's just uh, see it working. So you can see it's uh, it's open now. I'll push the button once. And it closes. And you can toggle it manually and it opens again. And if for some reason you lose power and you want to operate it manually, you can just unplug it and pull the clutch. And Hold the clutch open and just move it manually, as you can see here. All right, all right. I'm going to plug it back in and just show it working with the uh, the phone. Let me just grab my phone. This is I have it paired with. Uh, uh, Smart Things controller. And there I got it sitting there. So it's paired as I just have it showing as a, a tap there at the top left. And I'll just hold it up here while I. So you can see it working. Closing the valve. And let's just slightly the thing. You can see it's going to open the valve. And that's uh, pretty much it.
Thank <laughs> you.